you are, Becky here from Notes from the Sewing Room. Thanks for joining me today. Today's video is all about a fabric haul, all bits and pieces that I've been picking up over the last few weeks. So I wanted to share those with you. If that does sound interesting, then please do stay tuned and I'll tell you about the fabrics, what I'm thinking of making potentially and where of course I got the fabrics from. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about sewing, upcycling, crafting and generally kind of being creative. So if that is something that you do enjoy, then please do hit that like button, leave me any comments that you'd like to down below and subscribe if you haven't already. That would be amazing. For those of you who are interested, today I'm wearing one of my Tilly and the Buttons Olive Pinafores. I absolutely love this dress. It's from the Make It Simple book. And I'm also wearing one of my Friday Pattern Company um, Adriana blouses made in a sort of viscosity type material, which I got from Minerva. So I must make another one of these actually, because every time I wear them, I love it. So I've got two versions that I've made already and yeah, I could do with the third version in my cupboard, I'm sure. Maybe I could use one of the fabrics I'm gonna show you today to make one, who knows? So let me just share with you what I've got here. So I've got a whole range of different things that I'm gonna be sharing with you on today's video. So which one to go for first? Oh, by the way, for those of you who are regular viewers, you may notice that I'm in a new location in my house, and that's because I'm in my new craft room. So I will be doing a video all about our new craft space at some point soon, if you are interested in that one. So do keep a little watch out. Um, but for now, let's chat about fabric. <laughs> so the first fabric that I wanted to share with you is this one. So I love the colorway of this one. It's kind of like a mint green type color. I don't know if you can see, but it's almost like a ribbing. So it's got quite a lot of stretch to it. And it's got this kind of nice animal print type detail on there. I've got quite a lot of this one. Um, it's got a beautiful drape to it. Um, it's kind of a little bit see-through. Um, not too much, but a little bit. So I need to be careful about, I guess, what I actually make with this. I don't know if I put my hand behind it, if you can see it. Um, but yeah, I think perhaps if you wore dark underwear or anything underneath it, you may be able to see it. So um, I might go for something that's got a gathered skirt if I was to make a dress or um, something with pleats, something like that, just to kind of double up the fabric a little bit on the skirt section. I've got about three metres of this fabric um, because I wasn't really sure what I was going to make. And I thought I'd rather perhaps have too much than not enough. And I thought... If I make something for me and I don't use all of the fabric, then maybe I might have a little bit left over and I can make something for my little girl, Alice, perhaps. Not sure. But um, if you've got any ideas what I can use this fabric for, then do uh, let me know. So I bought this from a sewing day, which I recently went to in Lincoln. And it was a really nice sewing day. It was, uh, there was quite a lot of people there. Um, and we had afternoon tea. I met one of my friends there. Um, but yeah, it was really, really nice. It's actually the first time that I've been out by myself. Um, my husband looked after the children and um, it was the first time that I've been out since I had Alice. So Alice is now four and a half months. Yeah, coming up five months really. And um, I've actually not been out without her yet. So um, it was um, quite the thing <laughs> to sort of go out and meet my friend. But um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the day. It was it was really, really nice. And um, it was nice to have catch up with my friend. It was nice to have afternoon tea. And of course, have a little uh, chat to other people too. And um, a little look at the fabric stall that was there. So the fabric stall, where I got this from, uh, was called, um, I think it might be Fabric Corner. Um, which are in Lincoln or um, something like that. I'll put the I'll put the name on the screen, but um, it's um, something corner anyway. But they're based in Lincoln, and I've been there before. It's a really nice shop, absolutely packed with fabric. Um, the lady that runs it is lovely as well, um, and really really helpful. And if you uh, aren't quite sure what you're looking for, whatever, I always find that super useful to actually have someone that works in the shop who's really knowledgeable and um, just really sort of helpful and can point you in the right direction. Um, but yeah, if you've got any ideas what I can use this fabric for, then do let me know. I'm thinking maybe another, tilly, um, not Tilly in the Buttons, another sew over it Georgie dress perhaps. So that's the one that's got like the, the faux wrap front and um, you can have a gathered skirt or you can have a um, half circle skirt. So last time I did a half circle skirt, but this time I'm thinking maybe I might have a go at doing the gathered skirt instead. Um, it's actually got quite a plain sleeve on the Georgie dress. 
but I'm almost wondering if I can make something that was like a little bit more poofy, uh, perhaps not quite as poofy as these sleeves, but um, something else that's like a little bit more different rather than uh, having the straightforward plain sleeve. Not sure. Um, but yeah, if you've got any ideas for this, then do let me know. So on the reverse, it's kind of, you can see the pattern, but it's almost a bit plainer on the inside. And then of course you've got the brighter animal print on the outside. So yeah, looking forward to using that one. I think it's gonna be a good one for summer if it ever arrives, because um, today it's pretty cold outside. Um, I've just come back from a lovely walk with my little girl in the park. So we're all like wrapped up warm, got my winter coat on. Um, it's coming up the end of April, but it's still pretty cold here to be honest. Um, so hopefully that lovely spring weather might arrive sometime soon. So that's the first fabric that I wanted to share with you. Now the second fabric is another animal print one and this is actually something that I bought from the So Hayley Jane outlet. So that's the um, outlet shop that she has online where she sells off some of her fabrics that have been in previous boxes. So I previously made a matching Agnes top, so Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top and um, I think it was a juniper cardigan. So the juniper cardigan um, is by Jennifer Lauren Patterns and it basically made it's like a matching twin set type thing. Um, and I really like it, I wear it quite a lot. And I was thinking to myself, it might be quite nice to have another version of something quite like that, something similar. Um, so I saw this fabric on the um, hey, so hey Jane website, like I said, and it's a Pontel, jersey fabric so um it's really nice it's really soft to touch and it's one of those fabrics that kind of keeps you cool if the weather's like quite warm but equally if it's a little bit cold outside then it also feels quite warm against your skin quite a clever fabric i suppose um but i really like this so as you'll know if you watch my channel i'm a big fan of pink i wear quite a lot of pink and um hopefully kind of suits my skin tone and that kind of thing um so when i saw this fabric i thought yeah that's right up my street and i want to buy some of that also, because it was in the outlet shop, it wasn't too expensive. Um, so I thought, yes, I should get some of that. So um, I can't remember now if I ordered two or three meters, uh, but I've got plenty anyway. So hopefully I can make a little cardigan and a matching top. So if you've got any ideas of which top and cardigan I could make, um, perhaps different to what I did last time, then um, do give me a shout in the comments below and uh, let me know what you're thinking. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking perhaps like a cropped cardigan of some sort or something that sort of finishes around about the waist area, um, probably that's got a long sleeve or a three quarter length arm. Um, I'd like to finish it off with buttons on the front if I possibly can. And um, yeah, some kind of top that's maybe got like a scoop neck or maybe like a boat neckline, something like that. I don't know, you might have other ideas. So if you do, then do let me know. Um, but yeah, I really like this fabric. It's really nice. I need to still wash it. Um, so it's still basically as it arrived to me in the post. Um, but uh, I'm not sure if they've still got any of that in stock, but um, do check out the So Hayley Jane website if you are interested and have a look at what she's got on there. The next fabric I want to share with you is a gorgeous bright print that I have been admiring for a while and I just thought yes I'm going to have that basically because it was in the sale and I just thought it might be quite nice for the warmer weather which will like I say hopefully arrive. So this is from by Graziella Fabrics and it's this animal print so it's quite an iconic print I think. Um, they do a few different uh, colorways of this apple print on their website. Um, some of them are sweatshirts and um, I think they might do a French terry uh, but this is a jersey and it's really nice. It's quite a lightweight jersey, actually. Um, I would say it's a cotton jersey, um, but it's not too heavy weight. So it's white on the, on the back, and then you've got the apples on the front. Um, I've only got, I think, two meters of this. Um, I might, might even be slightly less than that. It was basically like a roll end that I got, so it might be just slightly under two meters. But the fabrics are quite wide. I think they're 150 centimetres wide. So um, I've got plenty to kind of go at in terms of making a top or something like that. Um, I've been kind of umming and ahhing about what I could potentially make with this fabric. So if you've got any ideas, then do let me know. Um, but I'm almost thinking about making another one of these um, Adriana blouses from Friday Pattern Company. Um, but then I thought, shall I do that? Or shall I try and squeeze a dress out of it? Or would a dress in this print be like too much, like too busy? I'm not sure. Or should I do like a little top for me and then perhaps something matching for my little girl, Alice? Um, 
I don't know if William, my little boy, would like this print or not because it's kind of a purpley pink and he might think it's a little bit too girly for him. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So um, if you've had any of this jersey or something similar, I'd love to know what you actually made with it. So um, did you make pyjamas? Did you make something like a day wear? Uh, whatever. But do let me know uh, because I'm kind of a bit on the fence about what to actually do with this. But at the moment, I'm kind of swaying towards the top for myself and then we'll see what scraps are left over and maybe I can do something for, for Alice at that point. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure, maybe one of these tops, but the fabric is a little bit heavier weight um, than this um, viscose jersey that I made this one in. Um, I did make another version of this in a cotton jersey, which is really nice, um, but it's a little bit more structured in terms of the arms, uh, like rather than um, it being so floaty like this one. So I probably prefer to make this top in the viscose jersey, but I don't know, I'm open to options. So uh, let me know uh, what you think anyway. Uh, my hair's looking a bit blown around by the way, because like I said, I've just come in from a walk and um, it's pretty windy outside today. When I went out originally, I thought, oh, it's quite a nice day today. Um, so I've got my like cardigan on, um, feeling like spring. So I've got a bit of a spring in my step as I'm going along. Then by the time I'm coming back, it's absolutely blowing a gale. So my hair's all over the place and I had to put my thick winter coat on. So, <laughs> But there we are. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's that's that one. Um, so let me know your thoughts and, um, and what you think of that. Um, I need to try and keep these tidy on my new shelves that I've got behind. So I need to try and fold them all up. Um, my husband says I've got to keep this room tidy now we've had it made. So yeah, better try and do that. <laughs> so hard when you're making projects though, because you know you get creative and then you get your stuff everywhere. Well, I do anyway. Um, and I kind of want to keep everything out. Um, for years and years, I've been sewing on the dining room table and everything's been a mess and we've wanted to eat dinner there. And it's always been a bit of a juggle about where do my machines go and uh, where, where do I put my projects and where do I keep my fabric and all that stuff. So um, it's really nice actually to have this room that we've created in the house um, as my sewing space. But it's not, it's not just my sewing space. It will also be my kind of work at home office when I'm back at work after my maternity leave. Um, but it will also be a kind of extra bedroom should anyone come to stay as well. So it's kind of a multi-purpose room. Um, but hopefully I'll be doing a lot of sewing in here as well. So that's really nice. So I've got three more fabrics to share with you today. I've just realised that my door is open there and it's going through to my utility. You can probably see all of my washing. So I'm just going to close the door. It just looks rather messy. <laughs> Oh, I don't know how we generate so much washing in this house, but we do. don't know if you're the same. Um, anyway, um, so I've got three more fabrics, like I said, to share with you. Uh, one's a jersey and I've got two different denim fabrics as well. So I've not really got firm ideas about what I can do with these. So again, I'm kind of open to options if you've got any thoughts on what I can use them for. So I'll show you the jersey first. So I really like this one. I've only got a metre. Um, it's... It looks like it's painted and that's kind of what drew me to it in the first place. This one is from Merry Made Fabric. So um, you can find them online or on Instagram. Um, they've got a website um, or you can visit them. So they're actually based in New Ollerton, which is in Nottinghamshire. Um, it's a really nice shop. They've got loads of wool in there as well if you are a knitter. Um, but they have got a beautiful fabric section and I've always been really pleased with everything that I've bought from them. Um, so this is a cotton jersey. I think it's designed by someone called Little Johnny, it says on the side. Um, and it's a, a really nice, um, it feels like a, a beautiful quality um, jersey fabric. Um, it's got quite a few different colours in there. So I kind of thought it would go with quite a lot of different things that I could potentially wear it with. Um, so as you can see, you've got the green background and then you've got um, a range of different colours on there. Orange, purple, pink, um, kind of little daisy designs. Um, so it's really, really pretty. So I'm thinking that potentially I could use this for a sew over it Adele top. So I've made a couple of those before. So that's basically the one that you get free if you join the VIP club. And I joined the VIP club this year mainly because I wanted that, that top pattern. Um, but if you join, then you get the Adele pattern. If you join, then you also get another free pattern from their website, another free PDF pattern. Um, so that's where I got the uh, the Georgie dress this year. Um, so I'm pleased with that. I've made it once. And as I said earlier, I'll probably make it again. Um, it's a nice, nice pattern. So it is, it is worth joining, I think. And then you get um, kind of like a heads up when they've got new patterns coming out each each time as well, which is nice. 
Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking possibly I could do an Adele top in this. Another one of my favourites is the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes, but I also like the Tilly and the Buttons Coco. Um, but I don't know, like I said, I've only got a metre, so I can't really go crazy on making something that's got quite big arm uh, pattern pieces and stuff like that. So, hmm, don't know. Um, but what do you think anyway? If you've seen this before, if you've had any yourself, um, but yeah, that's a really nice one anyway. So I'm looking forward to working with that one. I'm on the lookout at the moment, by the way, for a jersey fabric that would be suitable to make something for me and then something for my two children as well. So I want something that I'll feel comfortable in wearing, but also that's not too girly and not too, um, too kind of uh, childlike. So I know that the children would probably like something that's got trucks and diggers and dinosaurs or whatever on there. Um, but I, I'm not sure that I want to wear, you know, something, a dress for, or a top that's got trucks and diggers on it. So it'd be quite nice um, to have another fabric. So if you if you see anything that you think I might like, then do um, let me know where I can potentially find it. So I don't know if I could go for something stripy, something spotty. I quite fancy something that's maybe a little bit different from that. Um, I, I was watching, um, Karen's videos from so little time um, earlier today um, and she was sharing a Felicity's fabric, a F Felicity Fabrics subscription box uh, which had got a lovely fabric in which had got welly boots on so I'm gonna um, check that one out actually and see if they've got any of that one left in stock because um, that could potentially work quite nice. I'm not quite sure what I want to make that um, for us all matching but I think it'd be really nice because before I had Alice I always used to make things for me and William that were matching um, but now I'd like to make something for all three of us potentially because um, I just think it's super cute um, having like mummy and, and child sort of matching things and when they're so little and they can't object then I just think go for it I'm gonna uh, make as many things for them and for me as I possibly can do. Um, it can be quite tricky sort of juggling my time um, in terms of when I fit my sewing in but I usually manage to do sort of 10 minutes here, 20 minutes there in nap times and that sort of thing. Um, Alice is asleep at the moment otherwise I was going to um, share her with you today um, but hopefully um, if she wakes up before the end of the video I can share her uh, with you but otherwise I'll, uh, I'll include her on a future video um, but William's actually at nursery at the moment so um, he, he can't uh, come in at the moment. Um, but anyway, let me share my other fabrics with you. So I've got two more here. So one is a kind of straightforward blue and the other one is a pink, pinky sort of salmon-y colour. So I'll share the salmon-y type one with you first. So it's this one here. Um, so both of these denim fabrics are from Merry Made Fabrics again um, and they are both stretch fabric so lightweight denims so um they've got a little bit of a stretch to it as you can see um this one is lighter on the back and a little bit darker on the front um and it's really really nice um i'm thinking that i might like to do a little skirt project with this um possibly like a little denim -y type skirt or i don't know you could do loads of different things with this this fabric to be honest you could make a jacket um or i can make a little dress um, I think I've got about a metre and a half of it, so I've not got loads. Um, but yeah, I think perhaps a little skirt project might be quite nice. Um, I made a Love Notions Encore skirt recently, um, which is a really nice pattern. Um, hopefully you may have seen a previous video that I've done, uh, which has got um, some of my recent makes in. Um, so if you're interested, you can you can have, if you haven't seen it, you can have a look at the Encore skirt in that one. Um, but it's a really nice pattern because it's got quite a lot of choice in the pattern pack of what you can actually make um, I think there's like a, a pleated version, um, a longer version, shorter versions, A-line version, circle version, stuff like that. So I made the A-line version, um, which is above my knee, and I really like it. I've been wearing it quite a lot. Um, it's just really comfortable. It's got quite a deep waistband on it. It's got really nice deep pockets on the front. Um, they don't flap around or they don't, I don't know, I'm, I'm not I'm not a massive uh, one for having like pockets on the front, but they're not patch pockets, but they're kind of inset, but they're actually, you know, on the, on the front of the skirt. So it's really clever the way that it's designed actually. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking that that might be quite a nice one. Um, or I could maybe use the new-ish new, new -ish, um, sew over it pattern which came out, which was a denim skirt, 
um, well, could be a leopard denim skirt. You could use another woven fabric, obviously, for it. Um, what was it called? The Xanthi skirt, something like that. But I've, I've got that one anyway. Um, so I'd, I'd quite like to have a go at that. So that's got a fly front. Um, you can do a longer version, which has got like a split up the front, or you can do a shorter version. Um, I quite like the idea of doing the slightly longer version um, so that I can wear it with Converse or flip flops or something um, during the summertime. So, yeah. Not sure, but um, that's what I'm thinking potentially um, for this fabric. But again, if you've got any thoughts or ideas, then do let me know. So that's that one. So the final fabric that I want to share with you today, as I said, is pretty much a straightforward kind of denim -y colour. Um, and it's this blue fabric. So um, I'm a big fan of denim. I'm wearing a denim dress today. Um, I, I do like a, a denim jacket, denim skirts um jeans you know whatever so i just thought why not i'm gonna get myself a little bit more of this um of this denim fabric here and um have a think about what i can make with it i'd actually really like to do another one of these olive pinafore dresses i have worn this one so much it you probably can't tell on the camera but it looks a little bit washed out because i've worn it loads um i can wear it with things underneath or I can wear it on its own. Um, I did make a green version, um, must be a couple of years ago now, um, but it ended up being too small for me uh, when I washed it because it kind of shrunk, very, very bizarre. But I gifted it to another sewing friend and I think she's happily wearing it. So that's great, at least it's been uh, worn by someone else. Um, but I'd like to make another version so that I've got another one um, to, to go at, to be honest, and, and wear with things. Um, I just think it's kind of super kind of, useful and suitable for my day-to-day -day kind of lifestyle um, like this morning we've been to a baby class we've been for a walk that kind of thing um wearing this with thick tights um i'm quite comfortable like sitting on the floor in it um playing with baby and that sort of thing so yeah but yeah this so this potentially could be used for that so again um this is a stretch denim fabric a little bit of stretch to it not lots but a little bit um and it's quite lightweight again it's lighter on the back darker on the front um but yeah, it's quite nice that it's not not too heavyweight actually, um, because it just gives me that kind of scope to um, use it for something that's not particularly like really heavy and warm. Uh, As so I can I can wear it um, for the you know the months that we've got ahead, so um, that might be quite nice. But if you've got any thoughts on what I could potentially make uh, with this fabric, then do let me know. I don't really want to do another denim jacket because I've already got a Tilly in the Button Sunny jacket, which is a denim one. And I've got a sew over it denim jacket, which I made as well, um, which is there. Can't remember the name of it, but it's one from one of their ebooks anyway. Um, so, hmm, don't know. But if, yeah, if you've got any thoughts, and then do let me know. But probably some sort of skirt or pinafore type dress might be quite nice. But they're all the fabrics that I wanted to share with you today. So I hope you've enjoyed watching my video. If you have, then I would love it if you could press that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget, if you do press that little notification bell, then that means you won't miss any of my future videos. I do try and put a video out each week, um, family life depending. Um, sometimes it's not possible, but you know, hey ho, that's the way that it goes. Um, but I do try and um, put a video out um, as regularly as I can. But obviously, if you do press that little notification bell, then you'll know uh, when I do put out another video. Um, but until next time, I'll leave it there. I will be back really soon showing more makes that I'll be doing um, and get more fabrics and patterns and that sort of stuff. Um, so yes, until next time, I'll leave it there and I'll see you really soon. Thanks for joining me today. It's been really nice to talk to you. Bye.